Celtic here are in the hoop shirts. Ali Dawson. Cooper trying to get ground. Very good shot from the Tarantino. Equally well held by Peter Latchford. It comes over. It's headed across. Watch now what Cooper does. Swivels around. Arms the other player off and turns the ball very cleverly behind him. And equally good save by Latchford. Buns. Snedley. Snedley coming well upfield on the overlap. Ducking away from Cooper, trying a left foot shot. Here goes McLeod. And what a near thing. Here we go with this again. So watch Snedden. Cooper going to meet him. Just outside the penalty area. He swerves away from him. Tries a shot which is blocked. Ricochets across. And here comes McLeod. Left footed going away from McCloy but wide of the goal McGarvey running into the centre Doyle also calling for it as he steps away from Russell swerving infield a great run by McCluskey well that was a beautiful piece of play by McCluskey just watch him now the way he beats Russell all the time prodding the ball forward with his right foot beating it away from Forsyth, and then that shot which hit the side netting. Oh. Shot, Doyle, way into the open space there to McGrain. See the light blue men filtering back there to cover. McGrain going one way, then the other, right across the face of the goal, and headed just so narrowly over the bar there by McGarvey. There's McGrain on the edge of the penalty area. It's McDonald who's trying to challenge him. He goes one way, then the other. Beats him with this ball flighted right across there. McGarvey met it very well at the toughest of luck. Cooper. Dawson getting it back to Cooper. Cooper trying to see a gap to get him a shot. And Sledden shielding him. Cooper cuts it across. Over the top there. Derek Johnson, what a miss. Great piece of play by Cooper. Just watch what he does here. Proven who tried to challenge him, then Doyle moving in. He goes right round about him. Across the face of the goal. As Johnson, he controls it with the top of his leg, hits it with his left foot high over the bar. Barnes. The pass gate. A great try by McGarvey. What a nice piece of play. A corner kick. McCoy couldn't hold it. Let's look at that again. Into the edge of the penalty area. Nice shuffle there. Turn back to Mugabe. And just turned around the post. It's Jarvin going for it. Challenged by McCluskey. Gets it near the line. And a great try. A great try by Johnston. What a smashing piece of play. Garden. Getting away from McCluskey, close to the line, and whips it really across the face of the goal. Now watch this header. Just lipping the bar as Johnson tumbles down. And in the background, you can probably hear the Rangers supporters doing their best to try to coax their team on to get a winning goal, because whoever scores now, there certainly will be a winner. Cooper, left foot, a lob, and a header there by Jackson. The ball seemed to go one way, then the other, and just wide of the goal. So let's see that again. As Cooper coming in, see what happens now. Tani, left foot, lobbing it in there. The header, and it comes off Aiken. Russell to Dawson. Who toppled down there was Proven. Cooper. Tommy McLean. And what a chance for Johnston. McLean seemed to have set it up there. Watch it now. Here's Cooper. Left foot. McLean coming from the right hand side. First time. It 
Norris going away from Latchford and also too far away from Johnson. going to take it. Probably saying to himself, I'd love to make this one really count. Headed away by Dawson. Kicked back by Sneddon. And headed by Versailles. McGrain. An astonishing goal by McGrain. Danny McGrain has scored. McGrain hit the ball there, finally deflected off McCluskey. McCluskey getting the final credit. There he is, right in the middle of your picture. Watch it again. Out it comes to McGrain. He follows it forward. A flick there by McCluskey. Away, well away from McCloy. And McCluskey has scored the goal, which could very well be the winner in the Scottish Cup final. And indeed, it proved to be the winning goal. And so Celtic made up for the disappointment of not winning the league championship. And it was Danny McGrain who took the trophy. But it was soon after this that the big troubles began at Hamden Park yesterday. And Alex Cameron again takes up that story. Look at these angry scenes on the terraces. This is the end of a stirring cup final but now it has cascaded into violence, the kind of violence we didn't think would happen and didn't want to happen. And here comes another charge by the Rangers fans. Well, this is one of the worst scenes of violence we've seen here at Hampden Park. Bottles, cans and missiles being thrown, and they set, it's a pitch battle out there. Police in the middle of it are nearly powerless to try and prevent this happening. The fans have just leaped over the fences, and now into a pitch battle, there's senior policemen out there trying to see how they can possibly stop this. Missiles, here come the, horse, the mounted police to stop this, to, to try to stop it. This really is a shocking scene. Little fans obviously terrified, sitting in the goal mouth there, wondering precisely what is happening. Is this football? Is it sport? It certainly looks like outright war here. Look at that scene, that shocking scene at Hampden Park. What should have been a grand finale finish. Here we go again, the Celtic fans this time are charging at the Rangers fans. The horsemen have, these horsemen have drawn their trunches and are battling into the Celtic fans. This is quite an extraordinary scene. Rarely has anything like this ever been seen. There's a policewoman with a bat on her shoulder. This is possibly the worst incident I have seen in the football field in 25 years of world travels. Celtic 1-0 winners of the Scottish Cup final here at Hampden, but in the end, was it a victory for the Thugs? What a sad thing it was.